This little cutie is Ruby. <laughs> and she's a very happy doggy. But a recent episode on ASAP Science about depression had us wondering, do dogs and other animals experience sadness in the same way as humans? Ruby, what about you? Do you ever get sad? Do you ever feel anxiety? Hmm? We've all likely heard anecdotal stories about dogs seeming depressed, particularly after the loss of a fellow pet or an owner. Some have even gone viral like the one of the dog visiting its owner's grave every day. The hardest part about studying mental illness in animals is how subjective these experiences can be. In humans, there are some biological markers, but depression primarily expresses itself through thought, feeling, and language. But without knowing these things in animals, it becomes difficult to gauge their response. Things like diabetes, high blood pressure, or cancer can be reliably replicated in a lab setting, but can we really reproduce depression in a lab rat? It turns out that there are a handful of studies that look into this. With humans, many depressed people show a physical change in their hippocampus, which is a part of the brain that controls emotion. Interestingly, studies on rats have found a similar thing. When the hippocampus is damaged, then they start to have symptoms analogous to depression in humans. Particularly, the rats experience a decreased desire for social contact, which is uncommon because rats are actually very social animals. Other studies done on apes found that separation from the mother at a young age or other stress-inducing events led to similar symptoms as humans with depression, anxiety, or post-traumatic stress disorder. These apes would act extremely aggressive, feel intense fear and withdrawal, and sometimes even perform self-mutilation. Although these studies are limited, treatment of these apes with pharmacological antidepressants has shown promising results, which is pretty cool. Even at a cellular level, in macaque monkeys, scientists found that their stress levels were directly linked to their rank or dominance. In other words, subordinate males felt much higher stress. And these higher stress levels were linked to fewer dopamine receptors in the brain. Dopamine is that chemical we talk about a lot in our videos that actually contributes to making you happy. So, less dopamine equals less happiness and therefore could be a factor in depression. With regards to dogs, one study found that those which acted more aggressive towards humans actually showed much lower serotonin levels and higher levels of the stress hormone cortisol. The reason for this drastic change is still unknown, but perhaps it could open some doggy doors for diagnosing and treating all sorts of mental health issues in dogs. Whether or not we can truly quantify it as depression, or if in fact we are just projecting our human emotion on animals is debatable, and pretty controversial. But we often see our pets experiencing happiness or being scared, so why in fact could they also not be feeling depressed? Laurel Breitman has a great book called Animal Madness, which discusses the issue of animal mental health using narratives mixed with scientific research. It's a great read, you should check it out, we'll link it in the description. So what do you think? Do you think other animals suffer depression in the same way humans do? Or are humans just so intellectual that it's strictly a human experience? What do you think, Ruby? Don't forget to tell them to subscribe for more science videos and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Subscribe to them, please. <laughs>